From authors of pain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 290 pounds, Akam. The man is dominating WWE. How much does Akam want to be in WWE? He turned down an opportunity to compete in the Olympics in 2016 just to be a part of the roster. Look at that man. Byron, you should go interview him. <laughs> I think I have a sock drawer to rearrange. There's nothing like the smell of arrogance in the morning. And his partner from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 234 pounds, Rick, the model, Martel. From Park Avenue to Milan, Italy, you will not find anyone like Rick Martel. Just accept the fact you will never be nearly the man that Rick Martel is. Oh, God, stop spraying that stuff. Somebody get me an incense. The most decorated combat athlete in history. Brock Lesnar is hazardous to your health. I felt the wrath of Brock Lesnar. You don't want to get in the ring with this man. You don't want to get in the ring with him. You don't want to get in the cage with him. You don't want to eat breakfast with him. Brock Lesnar will hurt you wherever he's at. I'm trying not to make eye contact with him. The most decorated combat athlete in the world. The Celtic Warrior is here! And his partner from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus!
The Celtic warrior ready to go. He doesn't just set the bar, he is the bar. Now you think about everything that Sheamus has accomplished, four-time WWE World Heavyweight Champion, former King of the Ring, two-time United States Champion, just to name a few of those accomplishments. But Sheamus talking to him feels like he isn't given the respect that he deserves as one of the most decorated champions in this company. legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here we're ready to go thunderous slam oh damage to the body He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. It's about to get bad. You gotta believe this one's over. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Can't imagine what this team has planned now. They've been dominating this matchup. We're about to find out. Uh oh. Uh oh. My God. Nailed it. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of it. Tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss. Maybe even more. Oh no, here we go. Sheamus sees it. We talk about the things that make Sheamus such a feared competitor. One thing that drives the Dublin, Ireland native is his short fuse. Sheamus is always looking oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. I'd like to expand on what Byron said about Sheamus' short fuse. It does not take a lot for the powerhouse to annihilate a WWE superstar. One wrong look or snide remark, and it's all over. Well, if someone has the audacity to disrespect the Celtic Warrior, they better prepare for the reckoning because they're going to feel it. Especially biased announcers, Saxton. Huh? What are they going to do here? Oh, the clover lead! Check out the torque on the back. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Too quick for him there. Oh, that's unnecessary. Dropped it with a big shoulder tackle. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Gets the tag. What a stomp. Good grief. 
Brock Lesnar tags in. Just a step quicker, it looks like. Brock Lesnar just too fast for him. Lightning speed from the Beast. That's how you wear down your opponent. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. He may have to start reevaluating his game plan. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point. But that can obviously all change here. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, going right after the neck. He's struggling a bit here. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. Well, he's certainly looking a little Ouch. worse for wear, but that doesn't mean you should count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in him. The great ones oh. always explode when they have the chance. Boom! <laughs> Alludes that one. In off the tag. Max Handel finds the mark. What a clothesline! Ouch! Brock Lesnar definitely in a tough spot now. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Six. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a count out. Eight. Beautiful technique. Ooh, what impact. Nine. Back in the ring now. Tagged in. They did it! They won the match! I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here are your winners, Akum and Rick, the model Martel. The rep had no choice here but to end this one via count out. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.